Sarah from The Upcoming, lovely to chat to you. Um, how does it feel to be here tonight and to be nominated for an award? Oh, it's amazing. No, I'm very thankful. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it's an amazing moment in British cinema. And I kind of like, you can't miss it. There's so many interesting films coming out this year. It's pretty special. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with your film, can you just give us a brief introduction? What can they expect if they watch it? Yeah, of course. Um, it's called Medusa Deluxe, and it's a murder mystery set in a competitive hairdressing competition. So uh, there's a lot of hair, a lot of fun, and yeah. And where is the initial inspiration for the story, and why was this an important one to tell on the big screen? I mean, I love hairdressing, so there's not enough films about hairdressing, and I want to put it as, like, you know, it's a subculture. I want to put it on a pedestal. I feel like the creativity and the skill in all hairdressing is something that's pretty magical. So, yeah, I want people to appreciate it as much as I do and have some fun. And in terms of the making of it, what were some of the highlights, but also some of the challenges along the way? Um, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one. Like, I read every single like director's biography before I went in, and they all were like, my first film is a nightmare. Everything's terrible. And I had this weird experience of everything being like phenomenal. I think it's because you know it was in lockdown, it was in COVID. It was so, such a difficult moment that the fact you could get up and make a film, you, all you said was thank you every single day. So yeah, I don't actually have like any crazy lows. And I have a lot to thank the Preston, um, Preston City Council for. So yeah, b big shout out to Preston. And what do you think people can take away from watching your film? Um, well, I mean, I hope it's kind of shared love of hairdressing, but like it's essentially a community that kind of falls apart and comes together through a shared passion. And I think that side of creativity is what I value when kind of passion kind of verges on obsession and things are on the verge of falling apart. And I feel like then you take experimental and kind of engaging cinema in an interesting direction. And that's what I want people to kind of yeah enjoy when they see the film. And looking at the nominees tonight, how do you see the health of the independent film industry, particularly here in the UK? Any that stand out for you? Oh, I mean... It's weird, like when I was like, you know, coming out of school, it was the moment of like Hunger, Archipelago, The Arbor, Weekend, films that mean so much to me. And I'm just very aware that this year is like, it's pretty special for rich cinema. There's amazing films. There's, yeah, The Wonder, um, uh, sorry, I was about to say The Afterlight, which is a film, but it wasn't the film I was trying to say. I was going to say After Sun, obviously. Blue Jean, they're incredible films. I saw Blue Jean at um, the Leeds Film Festival, and it was in an audience, and you could just feel the moment afterwards. And it was, uh, yeah, truly special. Right, well, thanks so much for sharing all that. Really enjoy the night and best of luck. Thanks a lot.